from a commissioning perspective, one of the big things that we've been able to do sort of in the last 18 or so months since being live officially as a provider collaborative is start looking at how we put service developments in place to actually deliver those objectives around enhancing community care and shifting money from that inpatient environment into more preventative and supportive services that sit around that secure system. So I think our, our first one out of three would be our mental illness specialised community forensic team. So that's been in existence now for around 18 months, so very much in line with the Leeds provider being live and that has been a real key in us being able to start looking at discharge pathways from the point of admission. So from the point that someone's admitted into our services, the SCFT team are involved in that planning to look at how we move people through the pathway when it's appropriate for them to do so and put them in a position that they can they really understand what they need to do to progress and how to end up back into a community type setting where that's appropriate the team provide real enhanced support in that community environment so that we're making sure that people are fully supported and that's something that the LPC now has been able to put recurrent funding into um, so that that provision is now there to support that mental illness pathway. Likewise we're in the process of setting up a similar team that sits over our learning disability and or autism pathways so within Cheshire and Merseyside that community SCFT team within the learning disability pathway hasn't been there previously it has in other areas within the northwest so I think that's been a real key gap I think because we're able to see the real clear benefits from our mental illness team that's been something that we've wanted to develop that sits over the learning disability pathway as well so that business case has now been approved through our governance process that's something that we're developing with the transforming care partnership so it's actually being led by the integrated care board so by the icb and that's something that we've put joint funds into. So I think that's a really good initiative that we've been able to transfer that money from our secure pathway into a community environment and really help to enhance the overall plans to try and reduce those inpatient beds that sit within the learning disability services. I think our final area is a prison pathway team that we're looking to develop. So this is currently at um, business stage case, but I think we're, we're very much there and we're just going through our governance processes at the minute. So our prison pathway team will really be a bridge that sits between the prison environment where many of our service users um, transfer from or re are referred from into our secure services be very much a team that's able to handhold and support prisoners or service users as part of that pathway and provide enhanced support to the teams that traditionally sit in both of those settings. I think that's another real key initiative um, that will help manage the overall flow and the patient experience and outcomes that sit within our pathways.